here, listen, we want to start with, you know, you want to go ahead and start Cuban or Chuck Rose. This one right here is like two and a half pounds. So remember this, listen, the size of the chunks or the cubes that you make, is that's the size it's going to be. It's going to shrink just a little bit. And right here, I'm just showing you guys, you know how I did it. You can see the streaks of fat. Listen, we want to trim that. So right here, you see that fat right there? What I'm doing is I'm just cutting it, just trimming it, because you don't want that fat to be, you know, that, that greasy film, you know, inside of your uh, stew. So just go ahead and cut them, cut them. You know, again, I'm trimming right here. And then again, you just want to go ahead and cut them into whatever size bites you would like for them to be inside of your stew. tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to your pan you want to get your pan you want to bring it up to a medium heat and then after you finish coating all of your beef cubes you want to go ahead and add it to the pan remember listen we just want to brown it we don't want to cook them so listen it's not going to be cooked thoroughly sometime when you flip them over you're going to be able to see a little bit of red but what we're doing is we just want to add a little bit of color to our cubes and that's going to make it you know for a great presentation when you're done done browning all all of the sides of your beef cubes then go ahead and just dump them inside of your your crock pot including the drippings that's where your flavor is at and then we're going to go ahead and move to cutting up our uh, potatoes now here size is up to you how you want to do it just keep in mind the size that you cut them you know what they got to go in your mouth if you want bite size you can cut them bite size if you want them a little bit be a, want them to be a little bit bigger you can cut them a little bit bigger you know break them with a fork or a spoon however you want to do it but then once you get them cut then you can see right here i cut them into uh, fours also one fourth you know so we'll just call that quarters then i just go ahead and start adding everything to the crock pot so we had the beef cubes after they were uh, brown we came back and then we put the potatoes we got onions then we got that w sauce and then we'll just continue on look this right here is a fire roasted uh, diced tom uh, tomatoes this right here is another little you know key pro tip using fire roasted tomatoes that's awesome then we come back with dried oregano you know then the rest of the ingredients you got paprika and then listen there's one thing you didn't see me do right here listen i gotta tell you this and that, okay right here you see i'm adding the garlic you know that's one garlic probe i use my uh, my uh, spoon you know to break it open it up and what you did not see me do is i added three cups of beef broth remember three cups of beef broth and then you want to stir it and get it all mixed up and then you know finally then the last thing you do is you add listen you can add one it depends on if the bay leaf is big it can be one big bay leaf and you can see the bay leaves i had right there were kind of small so i went ahead and used just three and then right here 
right here. Listen, when I'm setting it, we're gonna cook it on high. And I cooked it on high for five and a half hours. If you wanna cook it on low, you double. So that would have been 11 hours on low. So with that being said, you guys, that's what it looks like once it's done. That right there came out real nice. And if, you like, if it comes out a little bit, you know, a little bit too much liquid, you can always add two tablespoons. I call this a slurry. You can mix two tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of butter, you know, and a little water, and then add it to your uh, liquid, and that will uh, help thicken it up, and then cook it for about 15 minutes.